In today's video, we're going to show you how the popular PBS kids show Odd Squad just recently featured a same-sex wedding and why Christians should not be okay with that. Don't go away. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you are new. My kids like Odd Squad. I've watched it a little bit, too, and it's it's goofy humor, and I've always <laughs> I've always thought it was a funny little show uh, in, in a lot of ways, and I thought it was uh, interesting. Uh, but recently, they have featured a same-sex wedding. The article here is from ChristianPost.com. PBS Kids Show, The Odd Squad, features same-sex wedding. And uh, the latest episode of PBS Kids shows a same-sex wedding Wedding, the most recent example of children's programming making overtures to the LGBT community. Now, I listen, this is a free country. If you want to live that lifestyle, you're more than welcome to. I nothing I can do about that. I want you to get saved. I want you to trust Christ your Savior. And, and really, you have uh, individual soul liberty, which is a Baptist distinctive. I believe that you can choose to do whatever you want. Uh, I do want you to come to trust Christ, though. That's what I want for everybody. But what I have a moral objection to is for you you to pedal off your your what is largely considered an immoral lifestyle onto young people uh, we don't let people pedal drugs to young people we have um, we have ages of you know for like pornographic things you have to be over 18 to do this so so we have these barriers that are around children in our society you can't you can't buy tobacco if you're under 18 you can't buy a beer if you're under 21 uh, so these lines exist but now it seems like we're crossing some of these lines by putting this lifestyle in front of these children and making it okay and acceptable. I, I find that to be, just as a moral person, I find that to be unacceptable. And as a Christian, I find that to be completely heinous. And I, I wish it wasn't that way. Uh, the Bible says here, and, and I, I really shouldn't have to explain uh, to Christian people that this is wrong, but I, I will for just a moment. Uh, the Bible says Romans one twenty one about people who reject Christ and reject the gospel. Wherefore God also gave them up to the uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God to a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. And so for this God for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even the women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So, I mean, that's just what the Bible says. And the Bible has, uh, th that was in the Bible long before you and I ever came around and it's going to be in there long after you and I are gone. So there's nothing we can do to change that. The word of God has spoken and that's just it. And so the story in this episode is that the odd squad goes to Paris and then there's two ladies who say, we can't get married because there's no preacher. There's no music. And so the odd squad goes in there and tries to assist this, these two women in getting married. Now, look, you know, there's places in the world that they're doing this. They're, they're, I mean, there's places where this is legal and places where that's lawful, and, and there's places where people go to get married. Okay, fine. But that should not be peddled to children, not at all. And I, I'm burdened by this because I, I'm bothered that, that they're programming children that this is okay. Look, when I was a little kid, we, this was like nothing on our mind. We didn't even think of this stuff. We were kids. We thought about riding our bike. We thought about playing baseball. We thought about, you know, just just video games and what we didn't think about stuff like this. And I think it's time that a society says, you know, we should let kids just be kids. Not only that, as a preacher, I have an obligation before God to warn you that if you offend children away from Christ, you have a dreadful judgment coming your way. I have a, I have a, an obligation before God as a preacher to warn you about that. Do not do this. Okay, if you want to be that, that's fine. But don't pull kids into that. That's where you cross a line with God. That is very dangerous, sir. Don't do that. We put up our documentary, God's Millstone, and, uh, and, and we, we, we tried to speak to you about these things because the allurement of children into sin is a serious, heinous sin in the eyes of God. That is for certain. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm burdened because I'm going to have to go you know, tell my kids that it's one of the shows they can't watch, one of the shows they like to watch they can't watch no more. And that, bur that burdens me because the world is getting more and more wicked. This is Mystery Babylon that we live in. Our, our, we're not home yet. We're, we're playing in a away game, really, 
for the Christian. We're not this this I like the old hymn, This World is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. And that's where we're going. And I, I'm 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 looking for that day, hastening that day. I want God to I want the Lord to come back. I really do. Set this whole thing straight. Because right now this is degenerate nonsense that they're showing in our society. And I don't think it's okay to peddle this to kids. Folks, Mr. Babylon is everywhere, all over the place, all the time. And I'm just burdened about it. I want to make this video to make you aware of this, especially if you have, you know, kids like me. We just need to start a kids network with, like, normal stuff for kids, Bible-believing stuff. I don't know. Maybe we can work that out someday. But we love you all. Pray for us here. Pray that God would have his way, way and will in our life. And we love you. Have a good day. When I was 18 years old, I was under terrible conviction of my sin, and I didn't understand what I needed to do. I really was lost and had no man to guide me. I went to the grocery store and a book caught my eye and it was called God's Promises for Your Every Need. This is the exact copy of that book, the one that I bought when I was 18. As I was going through the book, I discovered that it really didn't have a whole lot about the plan of salvation in there. And I told the Lord, I said, Lord, if you'll let me someday, I'd like to do a book, something like this, but better. And that being said, the Lord has allowed us to do a book just like that. And we are thrilled to introduce to you guys today the Doctrine Matters Bible Topic Guidebook. This book has over 300 pages of Bible verses categorized in all different relevant topics. What does the Bible say about addiction? What does it say about being afraid? What does it say about alcohol? What does it say about backsliding and baptism, the local church? Uh, what does it say about carnality and character? Uh, we cover topics like finances, money, persecution, preaching, profanity, sobriety, strife, vengeance, unbelief, your thoughts, your testimony, your walking with God, worship and witnessing and zeal. All of that is covered in this book. This book contains over 2,000 different verses on all these topics. And we encourage you guys to hit the link in the description below and buy one of these off of Amazon and consider buying one for a friend or a family member as a gift. And you could buy one for a person who's struggling because this book is designed to help people understand what the Bible has to say about all these great topics. We pray that the Lord would bless you as you get your copy of the Doctrine Matters Bible Topic Guidebook.